Hello and welcome back to Expo Hub channel. Myself Rakesh and today our topic is how to display an image in Accent Center using storage buckets. So how can you display an image within the Accent Center so somebody can approve it or uh, reject it, right? So for those kind of actions, how can you do it? Let's see that. Now, first of all, you need one of the activity called upload storage file. Okay, simply type. So this is part of your system activities. So you don't have to install any package. Simply you will find UiPath storage file. So this is the activity. I need to drag and drop to my workflow. So once you have this activity, it is very important how you will configure UiPath upload storage file activity. Now to configure, if you look at the property panel, first thing it is asking, provide the path of that particular file which you wanted to upload. So let me first go to, so I am trying to upload an image. So this is the image that I have got. So I am going to, let me show you the image. This is a simple logo that I have. And I need to highlight this, hit on the shift key, right click, copy as path. Okay. So once you have the path, go to your, go back to your studio and in the path section, I need to paste it. Simple. So I've given the path. After that, the very, very important input that you have to provide, where in this, the storage bucket name, where it's supposed to upload this particular file or this particular image, where it's supposed to upload. So I have to have a storage bucket name. For that, log into orchestrator and then click on the folder and then click on the storage bucket. Okay, so I am in the orchestrator, the folder my UiPath Studio is connected to. Uh, for you, it may be default, shared or anything like that. Okay, I have renamed it. So according to that, you go back to your orchestrator, select that specific folder and hit on the storage bucket. Here you have an option, add storage bucket. Click on this option and click on create new storage bucket. Okay, and here our main purpose is to display. So I'll give a name called display. Okay, so simply I'm giving a name called display and then hitting on add. Okay, and this word or the name that you have given, these are all case sensitive. Ensure you have it written properly and you're copying that particular name, going back to your studio and here in the storage bucket, I'm trying to paste the name within the double quote. Clear? So this is pretty clear. After that, it is asking, uh, there is something called destination. So destination means the file that you are uploading. What is the name of the file? The name of the file is image one. So in the destination, what is the name you would like to give? Let's say I want to give a different name or the same name, whatever. So I'm going to say Expo Hub image one. So this is the name I want to give. So this particular name that you are giving, this is going to get uploaded with this name. Okay, so these are the three different areas that we have updated, starting from the path of the file and the destination name and the storage bucket name. Now, if you run this particular activity, what would happen? Let's see that. So now I am in the storage bucket. If you go to the storage bucket, this is completely blank now. There is no file within the storage bucket. So this activity, which is currently running, this is supposed to upload the file. So right now the a run has complete. If I go back to the storage bucket and try to refresh this, now you can see whatever name we have provided in the destination field has appeared over here. Okay, so this should be clear EH image one. So if I go to the property, this EH image one destination is the name of the file. Clear? One more thing, how do I show it in the action center? Okay, to show it in the action center, all I need is a activity called create form task and to have this create form task activity, you need to install uipath.persistence.activities. Okay. So when I, when I highlight this, you can see uipath.persistence.activities and also uipathform.activities. So these are the two activity packages you need to install. So if you look at my project, it has got the UiPath form dot activity and also it has got UiPath dot persistence dot activities. The same name you should search in the manage packages and install the package. Okay. So once you have installed the package, now you will find this activity create form task. I need to drag and drop this below here. 
so this is going to create a action in the action center of orchestrator uh, in the cloud.uipath.com okay so if you go to actions this particular activity is going to create a task okay so let's see how do i configure this configuring this one is very very important you should learn how do i configure so that the file which is right now available in the storage storage bucket that should get displayed in the form okay this is very very important uh, trick to learn so here i am going to give a title i'll say display uh, image um, and then or let's say somebody is looking at the image and he need to approve the image review the image right review image whatever title you want to give after that uh, task catalog not necessary right now so i am using the form data look at this this create form task before you configure anything else look at the property in the property you have something called storage bucket name so you have to provide the same storage bucket name whatever you have created remember all this bucket names are case sensitive so you cannot make a single spelling mistake so it has to be exact the same way it is written so i am going back to the storage bucket and trying to copy it so that i avoid any kind of spelling errors so within the double quote i am going to paste it okay now it is asking storage folder path so your folder could be in your orchestrator uh, your folder could be default shared whatever the folder name is exactly you need to type it here so i will type it folder okay without any spelling mistakes so this is done so once you have these two things the next thing that we need to concentrate is the form data in the form data this requires you to pass the value of that image so here you have this is the value of the image right so i'll go i'm going to copy this i'll go to the variable panel and i'm going to create a variable called image path image path and here it will be a string type and i'm going to end enter the name of that particular file that i have uploaded so why i am entering name and i am saying path i am going to tell you that if you go back to the storage and if you open this your storage bucket whatever name you have given whatever images you are uploading into the storage that exact name becomes the file full path remember this so the exact name whatever name let's say you have said image hyphen uh, image slash eh image one whatever the name you have given that becomes the full path so here i have kept the name as eh image one so this becomes the full path path of that particular file inside the storage bucket okay so that's where i am creating a variable called image path and i am putting the name over here simple once this is done we will click on the form data in this three dots we are going to click and here i need to create an argument now while creating argument there is a keyword that we will be using for this anything we are trying to deal with storage you should use a keyword underscore storage so this is a defined keyword okay so you should type this image whatever the name you want to give underscore storage is the keyword that i should use when i am dealing with the form and the storage buckets where i am trying to pull the file okay so this is the name of the argument i have given and this would remain string and i have created a variable called image path which is containing the name of that particular file or the path of that particular file so this is going to get passed to this particular variable so when you do this your create form task will understand because it has got un underscore storage right the argument has got so it will understand something is coming from the storage bucket and the bucket name is so and so it is it start acting on this particular values and it will go to it folder it will go to that storage bucket and the file name you are passing it over here right image path which is nothing but your file name the exact file it is going to pull so that is why you should always write underscore storage as the keyword so this is the keyword okay you should not change it underscore storage simple so once you do this next thing click on the open form designer okay so now you will see the image underscore storage uh, that variable that you have created it will have a auto by default it will have a box created so for it for us to display the content okay for us to display that html content 
I'll be clicking on the advanced option and I will click on the HTML element. I'm going to drag and drop below this. Okay, the moment you do this, there is, there is going to be a simple window which would come up, which is saying me HTML element component. Why I'm using this HTML element component? Because I wanted to display that image. So the image is there, but in the form I want to display as a HTML comp element. So for that, I'm using this HTML element component. Once I have this, first of all, here in the HTML tag, I need to write div. What is div? If you if you know about HTML coding a little bit, you must be knowing div is nothing but division. So division means it's a container in which that image will appear. So that's why I'm writing div. Okay. Now I wanted to show that. So you have created a, a container, HTML container, but uh, how it will understand which file it's supposed to show in this container. So for that, uh, I need to write the HTML tags for image right so it is image so this is how you write image space src nothing but source image source equals to within the double code you can provide the source name so here our image is coming from the storage bucket for that we need to write two curly braces like this both the side and then within that i need to write data dot image underscore storage the way you have written okay img underscore storage the same value you have to give and once you have it written like this you need to hit on refresh on change okay refresh on change is nothing but referenders the fields whenever a value on the form changes okay so ensure you check this box and hit on save that's all pretty simple so i have made all the changes to the html component okay so once you do the changes see how the variable name right img underscore storage you should write in the same way if you have made a mistake in the image source equals to see i have written in the same way so it should be correct okay so once you do this hit on save and come out of this you can close this okay now if you open the when you open the form designer you may not see the display of it if you click on the preview you may not find the preview over here so if i'm looking clicking on the preview you can see there's no proper preview coming from the because it is not yet connected to storage bucket and has not pulled any data yet only when we run it it will happen okay then a task object let's create a task object variable okay simple so everything we have entered properly now let's run it and see so now what's going to happen this particular image will be pulled and in the action center it is going to show me that particular image okay if you want you can make little bit of more modifications in the open form designer for example if i go back to the open form designer uh, you will have something called if you go to advanced you have something called content okay so i wanted to put it here and uh, here i want to select heading and i am writing display uh, image okay um, that's all and i'm going to hit on save so our form is designed it's going to appear something like this and i'm going to save it and close it fine now let's it's time for us to run it and see how it is working so if i run it again uh, here again the upload storage file will run right so i have already uploaded um, uh, that particular file into the storage bucket so what would happen if you run it again it is going to overwrite the specific file okay whatever file is present with the name it is going to overwrite if it finds i am trying to rerun it with the same name it is going to overwrite on on top of it so let's run it and see the output okay so upload storage file is running now the create form task is running so the id has been created so let's go back to our action center okay so the created task will be under unassigned you click on this and click on assign to self 
now you can see if anybody is trying to review this um, here you can see the title has come as display image and then here is the entire link and below this you can see the image has appeared in the action center if i'm happy with this i can create an approve button reject button all that i have shown in the couple of my videos that can be created so here i need to if i submit it what would happen i have i have approved it so it went to completed activity you have seen an example of how do you display a image into action center so thank you very much for watching this video we are going to come up with more such technical aspects that um, we think you should learn uh, to be an expert in on ui path so thank you so much uh, please do subscribe to our channel in case you have not done it already um, and please do share our contents uh, to your friends and colleagues who would like to learn ui path thank you so much guys we are going to meet in our next video bye bye